where a lot of people been following. Now, the killers of U.S. entertainer extension has been found guilty, ladies and gentlemen. The three men are Michael Boatwright, Derek Williams, and Trevon Newsom, and they were found guilty in a South Florida court over the week. The jury in Extension's murder trial has found three defendants guilty of murder of the Moonlight Rapper, death in 2018. Now, as you see, Extension grandmother right there, she was shaking, as she said, when the verdict was being read, as she is a Jamaican woman, Extension is a Jamaican grandson. The verdict comes 12 days after the jury began deliberating on Wednesday, March 8th, for a total of 26 hours and 17 minutes. One of the longest amount of time in Florida jury history and taken to arrive to a final decision. The three suspects, Michael Boatwright, 28, and Derek Williams, 26, and Trayvon Newsom, 24, are accused of robbing and killing 20-year-old rapper Extension, whose real name is Jashi on Four Roy. During the armed robbery in 2018, a fourth defendant, Robert Allen, who took a plea deal for second-degree murder charges, became a state witness and testified against his friends. The defendant were expansionally are expressionless, excuse me, as they sat in their attorney following Marshall announcement that there were verdicts. Defendant Williams wore a red plaid shirt while Newson in a white blazer and a brown shirt sat in the left of the attorney of their left of their attorney that separated them. Both right on his extreme left is wearing a brown blazer with a turtleneck and a glasses next to his lawyer. Now the circuit judge Michael Yusan opened the proceeding by outlining the rules of the court before reading over the verdict. The charge per defendant, the jury found all Newsom Williams and Boatwright guilty of the murder on first degree and guilty of armed robbery with a firearm. The juror also found that Boatwright was the one who shot and killed the rapper, while Newsom was the other gunman. Judge Yusan read out the verdict on Boatwright, found him guilty of first-degree murder with a firearm. Jurors found that Boatwright had possessed a firearm, and during the crime committed, he actually discharged the firearm and actually inflicted the death wound on Unfroy. The jury also found Boatwright guilty of all elements of second degree charge, armed robbery with firearm possession of firearm, discharging said firearm and actually inflicting death on Unfroy, which is extension. As a result of the charge, said firearm in his possession. Newsom was also found guilty as second gunman on all elements of the second offense. The jury was made up of seven women and five men, and the juror poll revealed that there was an unanimous guilty verdict for all of them who voted yes, that three defendants were guilty of first degree murder an armed robbery with a firearm. During the trial, prosecutor shares video evidence of the last moment of rapper life as he went off sharing from a motorcycle at River Motorsport in 
his hometown. The prosecutor shared a video of a man alleged to be Allen and Williams spotting the rapper in the store before later claiming to recognize the bad rapper and his luxury BMW sedan and went to his Instagram page to confirm his identity. Williams is accused of being the mastermind behind the murder and one who came up with the scheme to rob the rapper as well as convince the others to do the deed. While exiting the Bush business place, the rapper put up a fight. Prosecutor said as he fought to hold onto his bag with contained $50,000 in cash he had withdrawn from the bank just before he went to River Motorsport to purchase a motorcycle. Defendant turned state witness Allen testified that he along with the other three defendants hired a car and carried masks, hoodies, and firearms as they went out to commit robbery against any unsuspecting victim. They only planned to rob Extension after spotting him at River and recognize him. XXX, on the other hand, had gone to the bank to get 250000 to buy a motorcycle at River Motorcycle Sports. The rapper smiles and beams at the bank teller in video playing in court. He only received 50000 because the bank was out of cash, but he merely went on his way with his step-uncle, Leonard Kerr, to River Motorsport. Testimony from Allen is that Williams hatched the plan to rob the rapper despite his convincing him not to. I tell him I saw the rapper extending and get quiet and Derek, who is Williams, ask what they're going to do and tell them, you know, I don't think that's a good idea because I'm on camera, he said, understand. I know it was a great chance we would be caught, Alan said when prompt by the prosecutor. Alan added that Boatwright and Newsom, the two alleged gunmen, did not want to rob the rapper, but it was Williams who also acted as the getaway driver who convinces them. Boatwright responded, all right, we'll get him, Alan said, and adds, Chucking Williams came up with some type of theory that if he leave out of the parking lot, that if he comes out of the parking lot and move in the next parking lot, it would look like we left. He also described the moment extension is ambushed, saying they drove around and as they were coming out of Derek, coming out, Derek blocked him off. Michael Boatwright and Trayvon New Newsom got out and robbed him, Allen said. He added, he, Boatwright, has his rifle stuck in the car. Newsom, he is pulling on extensions, necklace, and Newsom reached inside and grabbed the bag. As he grabbed the bag, shots were fired, Allen said, and confirmed that Boatwright shot the young rapper two of three times when they get into the car alan described the conversation trayvon newson asked michael boatwright why he shot him and boatwright replied that he reached for the gun alan told the court that he received five thousand from boatwright while the others took fifteen thousand each he williams actually said i was going to get wasn't going to get anything at all. Boatwright said, you gotta give him something. He was there. Boatwright was represented by Josh Kimok, who led defense evidence that his client was innocent. The police in 2018 arrested the wrong man. He was and went to say that the police failed to investigate other men. Keith Grayley. Boatwright also had an uh, alibi, his grandmother said he was at home in bed sleeping 
and nowhere near River Motorsport on the day extension was killed. Kimo does say about the prosecution's evidence that Boatwright took stupid photos with money belonging to Allen from the robbery. As for prosecution, evidence of Boatwright computer search for accessory to murder and rapper's extension, the lawyer say that the defendant was scared after seeing reports of extension killing and the search is strong evidence for innocence. Williams lawyer Mauricio Padilla also introduced the possibility that extension had so many enemies in hip-hop that his client was innocent despite the overwhelming evidence against him. Padilla tried unsuccessfully to have the court force Canadian rapper Drake to sit for a deposition to tell them about his beef with extension shortly before he died. The rapper's beef had been over his style of music, which he said Drake stole, but the judge denied the request, noting that not only had extension cleaned up the alleged stating, allegation stating his account was hacked, but that there was nothing else to show that Drake or the Migos might have been involved in the rapper's killing. The sentence date is set for April 6, 2023. Now, do you hear these dark-minded people? Young, young children, all of them in their 20s. You have the grandson of a Jamaican in extension. And here you have Michael Boatwright, 28, and Derek Williams, 26, Trayvon Newsom, 24, and another man, four of them, right? Robert Allen, four of them, pounce on this young 20-year-old grandchild of a Jamaican. And the youth uh, flourish in the market. I personally don't like his presentation or his decor. But at the end of the day, everything is not for me. And here you have these people insinuating Migos. And there was a tragedy that happened to take off. Insinuating Drake had something to do with this. When you have one of the so-called one of the accuser, one of the defendant that were there in Robert Allen telling the coach that it was Michael Boatwright, the 28-year-old, that pulled the trigger and knocked extension twice. This is another case of bad mind amongst my people, envious. At least this youth here saw Alan had the testicle fortitude or Robert Allen or the sense to turn state witness and save his life and take second degree. Because in Florida, them not run for fry you. So here we go. Five black men died basically for fifty thousand dollars. Cause them get the youth money, done the youth, and all four of them should not see the light of day. I'm telling you straight up. And me can't blame the lawyer them for you try save them because that's the lawyer job. The lawyer just take a money off of them or me don't know if them a public pretender or what. But it's a shame. But I'm elated to hear that this young youth life did not go in vain. A four of them get dash way for the one youth. Because in South Florida, in the court, in Brown, the jury has found the murderers of extension. The moonlight rapper, guilty on all counts. And the verdict comes 12 days 
after the jury began deliberating. They said that from March 8th for a total of 26 and 17 minutes long. So I am, don't know if it's hours, I said hours, I'm sure it's hours. And it amounts to one of the longest amount of time a Florida jury has taken to arrive to a final decision. So the three suspects are Michael Boatwright, Derek Williams. Boatwright is 28. Williams is 26. Trevon Newsom is only 24. An extension was only 20 years old. Real name, Joshi Unfroy. R.I.P. you. May your soul now rest in peace. Now Robert Allen, one of the alleged person that was there or accused that were there, took a plea deal and did turn state witness and testify against his friend. So there's no loyalty in the street. There go extension and his grandmother from Jamaica. And she said she was shaken when the verdict was being read, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Rastafari, soldier here of Deep Roots TV. Leave your comment on this one. Why are melanated men so dark? Why are we so violent and full of such self-hatred for our brothers, our nation at all? Subscribe, like, and share to the channel if you have not subscribed, like, and share as yet. Become a part of the Rastaman panel while you build up the Rastaman channel. Yeah, I'm going to play another Django Fresh as I change over. And give thanks for tuning in. Bless up on yourself, Doking. Bless up yourself, Gene. Bless up yourself. You have auntie. All the people them worldwide we are watch. It's a shame. Another set of melanated men life get chewed down the drain because this is five different young men five different families five different mother of a ball father of a ball brothers sisters lose them brothers the community just lost five talent and it's because of bad mind envious and great yeah, bad mind, envious, and great. So let me go ahead and switch over again, like I said, to a different clippings. I'm going to talk about a different story that I and I man see. Hello, my name is Ashina, and welcome to the Speak up, people, respect the truth, unity, we are every time. I yell the most high, even the we tough Get to you to up, we stay strong Keep the father close by, even though life rough Still I want a meditation I yell the most high, even the we tough Get to you to up, we stay strong Keep the father close by, I know A little goes a long way And you will get yours one day why well, I don't nah, give up, your man? I four times when I piss my grass I have pit the fuck here up Remember that? Even though it's rough Still I will have meditation I yell the most high Even though it's tough Get to you to what we stay strong Keep the father close by Even though life rough Still I will have meditation I yell the most high Even though it's tough Get to you to what we stay strong Keep the father close by 